Hi guys, welcome to video three. You've made it to Wednesday. Congratulations and thanks for being here. So, continuing on from yesterday, we were talking about uh, developing our personal style just a tiny bit. We're gonna go heavier into that today. What I actually want to be doing with you today is to create three different looks on yourself. Three looks that are incarnations of yourself to show that you can transform yourself into different looks. You could start with something very simple and clean and then build upon it. That's totally fine. I want you to practice just doing a full look on yourself, hair, makeup, clothes, switch it up and add. I don't want you to remove anything. I want you to just add. So start with your most natural look. Then you're going to go to something maybe a little bit more professional or glam. And then I want you to go to super glam and you know evening and done up. Just practice those three things. So today's assignment is going to be all about you and seeing what you can create on yourself for those looks. Now, there is going to be a little bit of a lesson. We're going to talk about how to develop those looks. So without you know, really deciding upon what your signature style is. What we're doing is sort of getting into it a little bit and figuring out who you are. So what I want you to do is create a mosaic, uh, a style mosaic. You can go to any pictures that you can find online and create a mosaic of looks that blow your mind, looks that you just love, that you just are dying for. That is going to be key because what you're attracted to helps you decide what style you're going to end up having. So the next step for today's video is to do a collage, a mosaic that expresses who you want to be or what looks you admire the most. I can't wait to see what you guys come up with. For those of you that are actually registered and want to become makeup artists and become part of this course, all of the instructions on how to do that will be linked below. But for today, we're going to talk a little bit more about signature style and other artists and how to figure out what yours is. In order to help you with this, what we're going to do in tomorrow's video, the final video of the week, is we're going to be looking into other artists and who inspires you. So as you're working through and doing your mosaic from today's video, what I want you to do is think about the artists that you're choosing when you choose an image. Write down what the artist or who the artist is that did that makeup and then what you're going to do tomorrow in tomorrow's video is we're going to start working on signature styles of other makeup artists and makeup throughout history because going through history is really important. You'll find that you go back through the decades many, many times through this whole journey. So you'll learn everything from the 1800s to um, the 10s, 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, all the way through 80s, 90s, and into the last 20 years. So keep in mind that the history of makeup always revisits we always get a reinvention of ourselves or a reinvention of our history and we get splashes of that coming through in trends. So looking at history of makeup is crucial and that's going to be in tomorrow's class. So stay tuned for that. We'll see you tomorrow.